Uh, good morning, guys. Johnny here with your Friday workout. So it is a beautiful day today. So we've got about 30 minutes max in total today. That's with warm up. We've got three parts to the workout, and then we've got a little cool down stretch at the end. So today's class, we're doing a conditioning style workout. So it's high intensity, not too much rest. So the, the all body weight movements designed to get the heart rate up get your sweat and get a good workout in. So push yourself as hard as you can without losing form. Form's always the most important thing. We're gonna go through the techniques of the movements before we begin. And always think, just get them right first. And then if you're comfortable with the movement, that's when we push. Okay, so let's get ready for the warm up, guys. It's just gonna be a quick three, four minute warm up. Let's kick it off with some jumping jacks. We'll do about 30 seconds on each movement. So a little side step, hands together at the top. Yeah. Three, two, one. We're going to do reverse lunge now with a reach over. So knee to the floor reach over we're going to do about 15 seconds on each leg so we should be pushing this back hip forward and then reaching over so your hip flexor gets a stretch as well as the obliques and the lats so obliques and lats basically on the side of the body there that's it so just a couple more okay up to your feet about 30 seconds, squats. Keep that chest up, nice and high. If it helps bringing the hands up to keep the chest high, by all means do that. What we're doing is sitting back into the squat and then dropping down, like so. And last couple. Okay, we're gonna go onto the floor now. We're gonna do a bird dog. So, more of an activation exercise. Keeping that core nice and tight. And we'll squeeze the glutes at the top. And feel it in the back of the shoulder as well. One more each side. Okay, onto your back. We're going to do a bicycle crunch. Elbow up. Controlled. One. Fire the abs up. And two each side. Okay, back to the feet. Okay, last one we're gonna do, really get the heart rate up, burpees. 30 seconds. So you're gonna push off, so we'll get that chest warm, hips up, and there. So there's no burpees in the actual class today, guys. You'll be glad to know. So we'll get them out of the way in the warm up. And one more. And there we go. So just a light warm up today. Well, hopefully it's done the job and got your heart rate up. Quite out of breath, but still within a minute or so, hopefully you are ready to go. I'll go through the exercise demos and then the format, what we're going to put them in. It is a conditional workout, so there's not going to be loads of rest, as I said, but I want to make sure we get that movement right first. So what we have in the workout today, we've got side lunges, mountain climbers, 180 squat jumps, push-ups, and supermans. All right, let me go through the demos first. Side lunges. If you've got space, we'll go right to left, like so. 
but you do need a lot of room to do it that way. If we're tight for space, we'll just do half on one side, then halfway through the round, half on the other side. All right, next one, mountain climbers. Onto the floor, palms down, and we're gonna bring the knees up to the chest. We're basically, we're trying to tuck the abs in and then crunch the knees up. So we're not just letting the legs go and just running through the motions. We're trying to actively crunch the abs and bring the knees up, okay? The abs are where we want to feel it the most. The legs and the shoulders will come into it, but the abs is the target muscle group. After that, 180 squat jumps. It's basically a squat jump, 180 turn. Like so. Don't just go around in circles, guys, or you will get dizzy. Okay, so pre-warning you on that one. We're trying to get some good height and then land straight back into that next rep and back and forth, back and forth. All right, that's your 180 squat jump. Push-ups we've got now. Push-ups are quite a common one that we're doing in the class. Uh, for good reason, they do work. They're quite tough, uh, so there is a few scales we can do, which I'll show you. So the general push-up, or the, the standard, is chest to the floor on the toes. Again, quite a difficult movement. We can bring the knees down, still try and get the chest to the floor. If that's still really difficult, if you grab a bench, and then we'll go on the knees and still try and get your chest down. Okay, it's just about creating that leverage. If the bench is too difficult, then get something higher, like something like a kitchen table height and push up onto there. As long as it's safe to do, the higher it gets, the easier the movement gets. Okay. And the final one we've got today is the Superman exercise. So we're just laid on the stomach and we're trying to bring the hips off and the chest off into that movement there. So the better arch you can get, the better you'll feel it. So we want the, the upper back to play the biggest part in this one, but also your glutes are going to feel it as well as your abs. So you're basically trying to keep the front of the, the middle of the body, the stomach flat to the floor whilst bringing the hips and the chest off, arms and toes pointed. The, the key on this one is to tense up as you go. So you're not just flopping up and down, you're tensing up. Hold for about a second at the top of each one. So this one, if you're really tight, you might not get as much range, but just try and do the best you can. If you can't get your the upper thigh off, then just bringing the feet off will will definitely still get some benefit and squeeze your glutes at the top. Okay, those are the five movements. The format we're going to do, we're going to do one round through, 30 seconds on each, with a 30 second rest between each one. So there'll be 30 seconds side lunge, 30 seconds rest, then it's 30 seconds mount climbers, 30 seconds rest and so on until we get through all five movements then we'll get an extra one minute rest then we'll do the five movements again but second time round it's going to be 45 seconds on 15 seconds rest so that middle one is a tough one you get a minute rest at the end and then the third round it's back to 30 on 30 off after that that's the the, the bulk of the work i've done and we're into the cool down stretch okay so we get started any moment I'll go through the workout with you as I go. I'll try and show, show you a few of the, the scales and the scale ups or scale downs as we go. And hopefully you can choose a variation that's best suited to you. Okay, make sure you've got your water on hand. This is gonna be a tough one. Enjoy guys.
Okay, so 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, five exercises, then we get an extra minute's rest. Okay. Here we've got a 10 second countdown. Side lunges first. Three, two, one, off we go. So you get as far into each side as we can. So you get a good stretch on the groin there, then you're pushing off the far leg. So this leg here, so we're driving up. Right, switch over. If you're doing left to right, obviously you don't need to switch over. If we get one more in and rest. That's the first one down. So next one, mountain climbers. Try and keep the back nice and flat. Alternate legs, knees up to the chest. We're trying to work the abs on this one. 10 seconds, here we go. Three, two, one, let's do it. So controlled reps, feel them abs, bringing the knees up. Once you've got the movement down, you can pick the pace up. Last five. Three, two, one, rest there. Great stuff, there's two down. Squat jumps next. Okay, with the squat jumps, remember we're trying to go from one squat jump straight into the next one. It does make things dip more difficult, so just do your best. Right, three, two, one, here we go. So I'm still trying to get that full depth squat every time. Keeping the chest up. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Definitely one of the tougher ones. See the legs get a bit of a rest on this next one at least. We've got push-ups now. Push-ups are a tough one. 30 seconds is a long time on these, so if you do need to break the setup into multiple, that's absolutely fine. Here we go. Chest all the way down is the key. If we go on, on the knees, I still want to see that chest get to the floor. Three, two, one. Rest there. We're nearly through. We've got one more movement, which is the Superman's. Then we we'll get a rest, and then we're going into the next round, which is a bit of a step up. But we are getting a longer rest after this next one. Do your best on this. There's not much movement involved, but it. Nevertheless, it's still a difficult one. Follow my lead, here we go. Bring the body off, then back down. Hold for a second, then down. I wanna feel it, glutes, upper back, back of the shoulders, and abs. Try and bring the legs off, and the arms off, keeping them both pointed. And one more. Great job. Whew, okay. Grab yourself a drink. 
that's one round down. We've got two more. This one is going to be the killer. 45 seconds on each exercise with just a 15 second rest in between them. So make sure you use this time wisely so you can hit this next one hard. As nice as the weather is, it does make working out in a that little bit more difficult. But yeah, definitely can't complain. We've had a pretty good as of late. All right, guys. So when we get going, you know the movements. It's just a little bit extra work, a little bit less rest. Doesn't sound like much, but it's, yeah, it's going to be a tough one. <clears throat> okay, side lunges to start. 10 seconds. Again, you can either go alternating or one side first, then the next. Three, two, one. So just try and get as far down as you can so you do get a good stretch. If you're really tight, then you might only get to there. That's fine. Just make sure it's all relative to you and you do your best. If this is really easy for you, you can always grab something to hold on to, like a light weight, and switch. But yeah, you don't want to get too cocky on this first one, because we've got four more exercises to go. See so if we can get two more in. One more. And rest. Okay, 15 seconds, then we're into mountain climbers. So back flat, bring the knees up to the chest, work them abs. Off we go. Wanna feel the abs under tension the whole way. That feels comfortable, just pick the pace up. If it's too much, slow it down. I don't wanna see anyone with the hips up high. Keep them low to the ground. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Rest there. Okay, we're two down. This next one, not going to be pleasant. Do your best. Try and keep the rest to a minimum. Squat jumps, here we go. Let's get to it. Do your best to keep dropping in straight to that next rep. We're getting full depth, good height. Halfway. Last 10 guys. Three, two, and one. Oh, give them legs a shake off. Yeah, very tough one that. Okay, push-ups next. Here we go, chest down. Lock out at the top. If you need to break these, it's best to fully come onto your knees, shake it off there. Don't rest in that position. Your shoulders don't recover. On the knees. Okay. On the knees, try not. Try not do that. You want to go rock forward. So your body weight 
goes through chest, triceps, and shoulders. And rest there. Okay, Superman's to go. 45 seconds, and then we get a big rest. Three, two, one, let's do it. So belly down, try and bring the legs off, upper body off. Hold for a second at the top. Think the glute and the back, we're trying to switch on. And keep the feet together, ideal. Fifteen seconds to go. That's it power through, guys. Last one. Three, two, one, and rest. Excellent work, guys. Yeah, that was as tough as I thought it would be. Well done if you got through that with minimal rest. We've got one more round to go. We're going back to 30 work, 30 rest. Same five movements. We're gonna rest for another 40 seconds or so, then we'll get stuck into that. That's the work done. Tough conditioning session today, then we'll finish with a short stretch. Okay, grab a drink if needed. Right guys, last one. Just dig deep, try and get through this last five, five minutes of work. We're only working for half of that as best you can. One time more on each movement, and that's it. 10 seconds, and then we go. Side lunges to start. Three, two, one. Here we go. So trailing leg straight, and then leaning in to this far leg, which we're driving off from. One more, and switch. So squat jumps certainly make these harder. Just do your best to keep moving. Last one. Okay, mountain climbers. That's one down. So forget about them side lunges for today. Mountain climbers next. We're going to start with, get the control first, the ab activation, and then once you're comfortable with that, then we'll add the speed. 10 seconds, then we go. Back flat, as always. Three, two, one, off we go. Keeping knees low to the ground, and then see how high you can get them. Halfway. Let's push through this one, guys. Well done. Five, four, three, two, one. And rest. Excellent. Okay, now we've got squat jumps. Definitely the toughest one of the three, in my opinion, anyway. See if we can hold on and not rest on these. It'll be tough. Just do your best. 30 seconds coming up. Three, two, one. Let's go. Straight into that next one. Okay, guys, let's go all the way. Legs going to be burning. Try and switch the mind off. Fifteen seconds. Go 
on, guys. Last two reps. Keep it up. Three, two, one. Awesome. Okay. Two movements left. Well done. Whew. We've got push ups, then we've got Supermans, then we're done. So just get as many in as you can. All, all we're looking for really is getting that quality down first. Chest all the way to the floor, full lockout at the top. Here we go. So we're on the toes, or we're on the knees, or we're using a bench, or another item to lower yourself down to. If we're resting, fully onto the knees, then back in. Last few seconds. Great job. Really good work, guys. We're in the last one. This is it. Doing great getting this far. It's definitely a tough one. Conditioning workouts are always one of the more difficult ones you'll do. But we're right at the end now, so you just got to hang on. Another 30 seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go. Squeeze the bum, squeeze the back, and lower down. We're halfway. So control. Get as high up as you can. Squeeze, and then back down. That's five. And brilliant. And that's the tough, tough part of the session done, guys. Excellent work. Right, we're going to do a little stretch. We'll grab a drink of water and then we'll get to it. Right guys, so we're gonna do this one standing. So I'll show you both angles. So the calf stretch there, and we're gonna put the hands, make a fist into the lower back, and then pull your chest and shoulders back. So from the side, it's looking like that. So we'll get the calf stretch and a chest stretch. Just hold it there, try and keep both feet facing forward, both feet flat to the floor. Then just pull your chest apart. And I'm going to switch legs. This time, interlock the fingers. Push out. So stretching the back this time. And we'll carefully come out of that one. Now we'll go to the floor. We're going to do cobra stretch first to get a good, good, big stretch on them abs. Two ways to do this: we can go on the forearms, like so. Or if you want a deeper stretch, then we'll get the palms down like that, and we'll hold that there. Bring it forward. I'm going to sit back onto your knees. Stretch the quads. Quads, big muscles on the thighs here. The further back you can go, do that. Again, if your flexibility only allows you to get to there, and that's as far as we'll go. Doing these static stretches at the end of the, the session will help improve flexibility. Just hold it there, another 10. And we're carefully out. Last one we'll do. So we're sitting down. Feet as wide as they'll go. 
and then we're just gonna lean forward like that so we should be feeling a stretch in the back as well as the groin and just inch them hands ever so slightly forward as you go nice deep breaths and get a little further in as always with the stretches if you find them beneficial by all means add them in to your daily routine whenever you get the chance last 10 okay i'm going to start inching them hands back and there we go guys excellent work and that's a wrap for today's conditioning session great work everyone that took part live if you're doing this on this lovely friday morning if you are following the recording i hope you have a great day as well thanks guys and hope to see you all next week